Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and um, I am back again to show you an alternate way that you can automate what's not automatable inside Kong. Um, Clockno provided a really nice way to crossfade between parameters. Um, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everything inside a single Kong designer and um, I will show you an alternate way that we can do things. So load up Kong designer, drum designer, um, load up a physical bass drum, let's load up the overdrive resonator and our goal here is because you can you can automate two parameters but there's certain parameters that you just can't automate the goal here is to automate this and in this case we already have a 16 pad drum sequencer in Kong. So let's do this. Let's copy the drum patch Let's go into pad two. Let's paste it. Control V, Control V, Control V. Let's keep doing this. And um, we'll do it just for eight pads, but you can do it for all 16. Now, what I'll do is I'll just name each one for reference and just number them. Okay, so now we've got the numbered drums here, and they're all exactly the same. So, this can act like your step sequencer. So on the first drum, we're gonna have the overdrive at zero. On the second one, we'll have it at around, let's see, 16, I think. Let's do 17. Next one's gonna be around 32 or so. Next one's gonna be at about 48. Next one's gonna be 64. Next one's going to be around 80. Next one's going to be at around 95. And then the last one, we'll send it to 111. Okay, so there's our step sequence. And that's really all you have to do. Um, you'll notice that the drive parameter keeps pushing upward. So let's uh, go in and we'll jump into our sequencer here. Let's uh, move the sequencer down a little. Okay. Let's create a clip in Kong that is four bars long. Let's open it up and you'll see all our drum sounds here. Okay, so now if you want to create like some sort of a roll, what you can do is you can create one hit there. Let's open it up a little bit. Okay, now you can take that hit. You can copy it, you can paste it, and then we'll take that and we will copy it. Okay, so there's your eight hits. Okay, so let's put the clip down to here. Let's put our left, our right locator here. Now, if you stop it, what you have is you have a drum roll. Okay, and that drum roll actually um, goes up to, uh, from the bottom end, all the way up to the top end of the drive. So you're, you're increasing your drive as you go. Um, the other thing you can do, and I'll just open this up a little bit. Okay, the other thing you can do is if you hold, if you take your pencil tool, you hold down your control key, you can have the velocity shift upward in your drum roll as well which is something you probably want to have. Okay, and if you increase your tempo, so that's another idea for how to automate your sequence um, to see how it looks in the actual uh, Kong drum programmer. It's so pretty with nice flashing lights. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. That's a different method um, which you can use to automate. It's not as smooth as the other method that I showed you in my last tutorial, but it does, it, it's very effective and it works very well. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, come visit me for more tutorials at reason101.net. Thanks again.